Hello everybody and welcome to the Simpsons game. This is Vertical Sandwich. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on how I was going to say that. Yeah, we're playing the Simpsons game and I'm Vertical Sandwich. That's the way. Get out there, remember, no chewing. Chewing's for chumps. Nothing Here but we... swallow. Nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Nice. Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. It does sound a lot classier. It what are you does. worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Nice! Cheating! cheating. Duffman welcomes you to the Dove <sighs> Ultimate Eating uh, Challenge. Duffman is oh, thrusting in the direction of the prod problem. Mother. She choked you in a haggis eating contest. I recuperare mi dignidad. With great hunger comes great responsibility. Gentlemen, nice. start your digestive tracks. On your mark, get set. All right. Ciao. Okay. Time trial. If your game's boring, just add a stopwatch. Losing, loser. Okay. So we need Homer to eat. We need him to have his getting big ability. And uh, I am so rusty at this. This is our first time level. There won't be a lot of time levels in this game, but there will be a few. And uh, yeah. So and the premise is. Not th the other guys are the enemies, but they're not really gonna cause you any kind of problems. So, oh come on! If Duffman had stayed in school, Duffman would be far, far away from you. <laughs> oh man, some Duffman lines are are some of the the greatest lines of The Simpsons ever. Like Duffman can't breathe. Oh no! <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh my god, so good. New feelings brewing in Duffman. What would Jesus do? <laughs> Duffman cannot die. Only the actors who play him. <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, enough of me regurgitating Duffman. Ah, uh, regurgitating. See, it's punny. Okay. Um, we have to get the, the job of Bart in this in this game or this yeah this thing will be to get Homer further into the the game. Although we're getting pretty far into the game, why isn't Hom Homer's not following us? Okay, well, how do we get? Oh, I guess maybe we got to jump this wall with Homer. I was hoping that his AI would let him follow. So anyway, so you can bolt. Um, with yeah. See, and then like we entered, we entered Mexico, so we gained two minutes on the timer. And so getting ahead will always give us more time. And sometimes it'll be pretty straightforward, like how to get into the next place. But a lot of times it will involve Bart. So, I mean, because obviously there's, like, Bart stuff going on over here. If we can do this. Yay. Oh. Yeah, razor wire will kill you if you're Bart, apparently. We learned a valuable lesson. What are those, seltzer bottles or something? You know what? Don't stand around and let people beat you up when Bart's dead. Like, it's not a good idea. Okay. Forward, onward, onward, forward. Oh, we have to smash a giant taco. Okay. Well, that makes sense. There we go. Enter Germany. That super taco was a little dry. Nice. You complain, Homer. You complain all you want. Nice! Just like Hogan's Heroes, yeah! Oh, we entered France! Okay, so now we need Bart. Like, Bart's gonna get us out of France here. So, we will be back in France later in the game, though. His sunglasses in the garage? What? Okay. So... Alright, well this is a reasonably complex, like they really wanted us to use all of Bart's abilities right now. Oh, come on! We can do this. We're being timed, damn it. Alright, La Tour de Eiffel! I don't... I actually don't know how... That, that probably is Eiffel Tower in French. I don't know. I like the big landing X to show us where to jump. That's nice, that's classy. Alright. 
I also like the idea of Homer being part of an eating contest. And I'm surprised, has The Simpsons ever done that? Like, in an episode? Because, I mean, I know King of the Hill did it. And, uh, and it was really funny. Like, when King of the Hill did it with Bill. Um, being, uh, becoming a professional oh, gurgitator. Yeah, so now we're, yeah, we're entering Scotland. Which, y y you know in an eating contest, you definitely want to eat your way through Scotland because the food in Great Britain is just so good. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that. I have no, I, like, I actually had a friend who came back from, uh, from England. Yeah, I'd gone to school there and stuff, and, uh, gone to college there. And, uh, we looked all over, uh, Austin, uh, Texas, for, uh, Shepherd's Pie. And found a place that made Shepherd's Pie, and he was just absolutely amazed that they made such good shepherd pie. And he really loved Shepherd's Pie. I, uh, it didn't look horrible to me. I mean, I didn't try it. He didn't offer me any, so... I wasn't gonna order it not knowing, you know? Okay, I guess we can't get... Oh, well, that's back into Germany anyway. It wouldn't help us, so... Okay, so what we have to do, I think, is knock over this... Really? No, we... I know we have to knock over the Stonehenge stuff. There we go. That's what we needed. And now we have to go, like, pound on the, the bagpipes here. And then they'll make a, a Bart thing. Huh. Well, this is not turning out... Oh, we did it! How did we do it? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make a lick of sense. All right. Yay, floating Bart. Let us into wherever we're going next. Looks like Italy to me. Yep, Italy. All right. Uh, okay, I know we have to hit that meatball. Ugh, sometimes this can be, like, moving around as this Homer is really high. There we go, that's what we needed. Okay. You can do it, Otto. You can do it, Otto. Make the spare. I give you free gelato. Okay, anyway. Ugh, I can endlessly recount Simpsons quotes, random Simpsons quotes. I've actually been watching a lot of old Simpsons episodes lately, so. And again, unlike Simpsons Hit and Run, that I essentially did blind. Um, I'm familiar with this game. And actually played through this game while I was um, processing other videos, just to, after I bought it, to make sure that it was it still kind of like I remembered it. Than the other. I'll stop on your face. Oh, apparently Dolph or whoever that is will stop on our face. That is his threat. Alright, and so um, this uh, America is where we're going to end up. It's the last thing we have to do. Again, I hope that this lives up to the standards of uh, Dark Nintendo 2000, because they were really excited about this. <laughs> we are witnessing a clinic in overeating. Okay. I like how they just show us what we're supposed to do. Like, we haven't... Obviously, we're, we're early in the game, though. They don't... Okay, well, we made it into America, but we gotta get Homer here, so... Alright. We'll open the door, but... Oh, Homer's still down here. Oh my god, okay, well we gotta... I guess we gotta... Uh, there's gotta be another way up under this... This bridge. We've got plenty of time. This level gives you plenty of time. Wait, where is this? It's like a cafeteria. I, I don't think I've ever seen this before in my life. I bet you there's like, there's probably a token here. See, it looks like we can jump up there. Yeah, this is just like the Duff Brewery cafeteria and their bathrooms and stuff. It's so weird. Okay, well. It's good, too. The game design in this is fantastic because, like, they've obviously made it look like, you know, Italy and things like that, but it also looks like it's inside of a warehouse. Like, somebody set it up inside of a brewery. And, uh, that's really clever. I mean, like, that's a level of thought that you don't expect them to put into. Now, we're jumping right through this. Like... 
Ah! Wiggum! You jerk! Oh, you don't get to do that twice, man. That's not right. There we go. Okay. Well, wait, we got up here. Which is you know, probably way easier than I made it. I'm not having a lot of fun with the camera angle here, but whatever, we'll figure it out. I actually, that's another complaint I have about this, is um, in games where you can change the camera angle and stuff, like, when you change it, it should stay the way it is. But I suppose that would make it where you have to change a lot more camera angles. More often. But now, okay, so now we can just go into America. Giant burger! That is an enormous burger. I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful sight. Nice. Okay. So, uh, we need to use uh, Homer's ball power to uh, smash that down, and then that will drop the guard on the Statue of Liberty so we can hit it. And I thought we just had it there, but we did um, Homer's gonna run out of gigantic. Oh wow, that really should have hurt us. Okay, I guess the game isn't designed like that. I mean, we have a life bar. They they could have things do damage to us. Take that, Willie. Doing nothing to me. I'll teach you to not pay attention to me. Okay, so up on the giant coin. See, that's not gonna work. Oh, we can just yeah. That oh, it did work. Yeah, but we missed it. Somebody pop him. That's a good idea. I mean, if somebody could pop me, that would be a certain a, a way to end it. So now, okay, so if, okay, now that I know that we can jump as the ball and then just slam down, this should be easy. Oh, come on! Alright, well, we'll eat a little more food and wait for it to reset itself. And... Go, go, gadget stomach. Fantastic. All right, here we go. There we are. Hot soup. Okay. There. And we have to hit this thing three times. See, now let's start rotating. It becomes a little harder. Although it's it's gonna all be about timing. Okay. Jeez, I remember when this when this game came out, I bought this right away. Like, as soon as I possibly could. See, okay, we should have enough time to... There we go. Alright. So we got one more. <laughs> I was surprised when I was actually, like, up on the top of the Empire State Building when I went to New York. Um, and you could see the Statue of Liberty. It looks really tiny from Manhattan. You know? I mean, obviously, if you go out there, I'm sure it's big, but, like, from Manhattan, like a high point in Manhattan, it looks so small. Ah. Well. We are going to fail sometimes. You are actually, in this game, it's going to become important to become really good with rolling home around like this. There we go. All right. So now we just got to get at the giant burger. Ooh, Lady Liberty is going to feel that in the morning. There we go. Well, that did it. We ate the giant burger. Oh, you did it. Wow. Ah, uh, jeez, uh, that was my choking hand. Still, uh -oh. you did great. This oh, is nice. Duffman is proud to declare you our ultimate eating champion! Homer. Yay, Homer! Here to present you with the Red Barkley Championship Belt is last year's champion! Red Barkley, of course, was the trucker in the uh, we'll need to Homer Becomes a Trucker episode. Adjusted. Akira, how did you win? You're so tiny! Technique. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's George Takai right there. And now, the losers have to clean up! Oh yeah! That's, uh... Yeah, that's... That's something. Oh, we all knew this was coming. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, damn you! God damn you all to hell! <laughs> hey, less references, more mopping. Yeah, take that, Charlton Heston. 
Okay, what, how do we do for time? Yeah, we're a little over, over target. But, okay, so that was that. <laughs> um, now, uh, when we come back, we'll be uh, doing whatever the next level is. Um, I really, I don't have a list of levels or anything. I'm just, I have a list of cliches by level. Not listing the ones that I know I can get or that I know where they are or that I know are automatic. So, uh, we should end up back in the house. And then um, I'll be letting you guys go. And when we, like I said, when we come back, we'll do more The Simpsons game. Yay! Uh, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, bye, everybody.